Hi everyone, my name is Amy Bradbrook and today I'm here to talk you through my project on plant-based vaccines. Did you know that tobacco plants can be genetically engineered to produce proteins like hemagglutinin from influenza? By using agrobacterium containing the gene of interest, Nicholas Jean of Anthemiana plants can undergo vacuum infiltration. When left for a few days, these plants will produce the proteins genetically engineered to produce, which can then be extracted and purified to prepare for vaccinations. Vaccines made in this way tend to be cheaper, safer, easier to scale up, and easier to store, making it ideal for pandemic situations. The only problem with these vaccines is that they often have lower antigen yields and immunogenicity, so my project has been focusing on finding ways to improve upon these flaws for Nicosiana Bethviana influenza plant-based vaccines in the form of a literature review. You can read all about these factors on my poster. This project was executed as a literature review on the Web of Science, of which access was kindly provided to me by my mentor's workplace, the University of Ottawa. I start this process by using the searches currently on screen, which you can read about on my poster. When reading each paper, I would analyze in the order of title, abstract, conclusion, introduction, discussion, and conclusion, and record the relevant information into this spreadsheet. When I finished reading all the papers I wanted to, I looked through the spreadsheet to pinpoint articles that should be included in the manuscript, and then reread them to obtain more information, this time incorporating the results and methods section into my analysis. Getting started on this project was a bit of a long process, and actually began at a doctor's appointment when I was getting a vaccine. I'm terrified of needles and have been for all of my life, so I started to wonder why there aren't any oral vaccines available. This idea ended up being my proposal for last year's competition. But when the competition was cancelled, my mentor offered me the opportunity to produce a literature review on plant-based vaccines, which are ideal for COVID-19 because of their numerous advantages. In fact, Canada's even signed a contract to receive the Medicago plant-based vaccine once it's ready, so you could be vaccinated with a plant in the near future. Throughout this process, I came across a few difficulties, and the first was actually choosing the topic of the literature review. I started this review by using really broad search terms, as you can see right here, relating to the Coronaviridae family, because I had no idea what to talk about. This made it really difficult to choose a discussion point, because there were so many articles on so many different topics. My mentor was the one who suggested the review be on plant-based vaccines for influenza and the ways in which the yield and immunogenicity were improved, which, as you know, ended up being the topic. The other difficulty came in reading and analyzing the literature at the beginning of the review, as I didn't fully understand most of the plant-based vaccine terminologies and concepts, so it made reading articles about them rather difficult. I got through this challenge by making a mini dictionary of the words I didn't know. Every time I came across new terminology, I would look up the meaning and write it down for later. But at the end of the day, learning this new information ended up being one of my favorite parts about the process. I am still working on this project, so there are a few next steps I'm currently taking to prepare the manuscript for submission to a journal. First of all, the manuscript needs to be edited. I'm very lucky to have numerous editors, including my mentor, taking a look at a paper to prepare it for submission. Once I start to receive copies of the edits, I will work on collating all the papers together. I would also really like to include a section on current COVID-19 plant-based vaccines. Since I finished the first draft, a lot of literature has been released on this subject, which I think may be of some use to the manuscript. To finish this presentation, I want to take the time to say a few thank yous, as I provided a lot of support throughout this process. Thank you to my mentor, Professor Altasar, my teacher, Ms. Myers, the editors, Dr. Andenov and Dr. Leblond, and those who have suggested paper for my research. And thank you to the Sanofi organizers who gave us all this opportunity to try and experiment with biotechnology. Thank you so much for listening. If you found this presentation interesting, take a look at my poster. It dives more in depth on the project and why plant-based vaccines are a good alternative to mammalian cells. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me at abrad9ocdsb.ca as seen at the top of the screen. I hope you have a great day.